First major of the season. How's your preparation been going? Preparation, I think it's been going pretty solid. We've been putting like a lot of time into our respawn game modes. So other than that, like before a major, I feel like you always want your uh, preparation practice going really well. So I think our practice has been really solid and we've been like slowly improving every day. So pretty good. And uh, you're starting in the elimination bracket. Uh, how does that affect your approach to the event? Do you need to be more cautious? I wouldn't say less cautious, but it definitely adds like a little bit more uh, importance to each, ma each match. So, because you don't really want to come out here and play one match and lose. So, um, I think we're gonna take each match like super serious, just like even as if we we're in winners. But um, it's definitely uh, tough because. Starting in an eliminations bracket at Milan. This is this is my first time starting in a losers bracket, so um, definitely not ideal. But the only way to avoid that is winning. But we'll see. And uh, Rocker, I mean, you mentioned it earlier, but Rocker have been criticised for the record on respawn modes. You've been fairly solid on SND, but respawn's definitely been an issue for you guys this season. Um, how have you worked to improve it this past week? Um, I think personally, um. Like, compared to Cold War, like, the Cold War style of play and uh, Vanguard style of play, more so, like, Hardpoint. Control, I feel like, is a little similar, but Hardpoint-wise, um, the game plays out really differently, especially with, like, the kind of spawns we have. So I think we're trying to understand, like, the way we want to play, like, certain situations much, much better and realizing that pressure means a lot in this kind of game. So I think we've been just overall trying to apply the right pressure in the right ways, so... And uh, you're due to face either London or LAG when you go through. Um, who would you rather face? Um, I, I mean, I guess I, I guess I'd say LAG, but I mean, I'd rather I'm down to play either team to be honest. Um, LAG, I guess you could say like based on statistically, like statistically, like they could be the weaker team, and we beat them already once, so. You know what I mean? We could shake them up a little bit if we if they found themselves uh, playing us and losers, but yeah. Uh, and aside from aside from Rocker, obviously, uh, who's your pick to win the event? Um, I mean, FaZe have been looking good, but I feel like if I wanted to choose like an underdog team a little bit. Maybe like 100 Thieves. There's been some uh, discussion around the sort of COVID protocols that have been put in place in the last sort of 24 hours. Um, how's your experience been with the measures that have been put in place by the CDL? Um, I haven't really experienced any issues. I think everything's been going pretty smoothly, just like most of the major tournaments. So uh, I'm good. And uh, the CDL issued a community update yesterday, um, and the Rookie of the Year award is back, which is something that you were sort of uh, in the conversation for last year. Um, who's your bet to win it? Um, I'm going to shoot Dave Patty. And uh, Rocker, generally speaking, are S&D specialists. Um, what do you make of the changes to the 8 bomb site on Bocage? Um, I, think, um, I think it's good. I mean... I think there's a lot of minimal changes that can be made to make like uh, certain bomb planning spots better, etc. I don't mind it. I think it's a good update. Uh, and a lot of excitement as well over Merck and Maven, who are finally back. Uh, do the players feel that same level of excitement as the fans? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I feel like they bring a lot of energy when they're casting, and they bring a lot of hype. And uh, I was in the bathroom yesterday, like after a practice, and I saw uh, Maven in there, and uh, we exchanged some words. We said like, "Hi, what's up? Hope you're well." Blah blah. But uh, it's 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 good to see him back, you know. And uh, I think they're uh, really important to the uh, Call of Duty scene. And uh, final question: uh, What do Minnesota need to do to win this major? And will we see a land buff come to play? Um, I I personally I believe in the land buff. I personally believe in the land buff. But uh, for us to win, I think if we can uh, come out hot in our hard points and uh, be a pretty solid control team like we were last year, I think uh, we can make a deep run in this turn.